This is a piston gauntlet, an item that allows you to do some sick jumps and have a completely different movement experience in Minecraft. And this is an air cannon that throws both you and whoever you're aiming at to the opposite directions. And this... Uh... Welcome to another one of those, where I do a mod and showcase to you what, why and how I made everything, pretending that I have at least a single thought in my head while you're doing those. In the past, I've done exactly two mods, three if you consider this one that I made back in 2019, but I digress. And both the mods were kind of an experiment. Now I finally learned my lesson and decided to make something that is actually fun. For the following days since the last video, I quietly pondered in my room the following question. What are the most fun game mechanics I've ever experienced? And slowly came to the conclusion that I'm a Valorant player, so I don't understand the concept of fun, which is why I went straight to my second best bet, utter and complete chaos. And for that, I decided to make a few items that have a redstone y kind of theme that will enhance both your movement and your ability to eradicate any form of living creatures. So let's stop stalling and take a look at our first item, the piston gauntlet. There are two types of piston gauntlets, sticky and non-sticky. Both work essentially in the same way, so I'll just explain it in general. There are easy to craft movement items which allow you to boost yourself basically in any direction, as long as there is any block close enough for you to be able to click on it. When you right click with piston gauntlets in your hand, you'll be pushed opposite to the block you're looking at. So, if I were to do this jump, look down to the wall and right click, I'd be pushed up here, a place that would be basically impossible to reach without placing blocks given any other condition. Except if you have a sticky piston gauntlet, which pulls you towards the block, or an enderpearl. But they aren't nearly as cool, so... But let's suppose you want to get to a place that is more than 4 blocks above you. What do you do? Well, I've got the solution. First, you go down to the mines and grab some deep slate and some redstone. Go back and get a chest and some glass. And then make a big f***ing cannon called the air cannon. This item works just like the normal piston gauntlets, except that it's way more powerful and doesn't require any blocks for you to be able to use it. So if you click right here, you'll be... unlike the piston gauntlets though, you can use this item in combat to send your enemies very far away. Like very far away. Very nice, would banish my enemies to the shadow realm again. But now, suppose you wanna... But now, suppose you're off the... <clears throat> But now, suppose you're of the opinion that the pacifist stay away route is way too boring, then you might like the next item, the flamethrower. Is your pathway blocked by way too many enemies? Incinerate them very easily, they'll have nowhere to run. Did a villager just steal some emeralds from you? Burn down everything he has ever loved and see the prices again, they don't change. Is this forest too much of a problem to deal with it? Do you want to quickly deal with some guardians? Oh, well, they're underwater, you can't do anything about that. Apart from using the flamethrower as propeller to flee, I guess this works. The only thing you have to be aware of is that the flamethrower uses fire charges as fuel. So make sure you have enough of those if you want to be the next local arsonist. But if pyromania is not your thing, yet you still want to destroy everything in your pathway, then the next item may be for you. But before that, I must have a YouTuber moment and say that less than 10% of you are subscribed, so I would greatly appreciate if you could help me out on that. Get yourself an air cannon. Now reinforce it with some netherite. Great, now place an iron block inside it. Done? Yeah, you see this bigger cannon? Shoot it! This weapon, the absolute unit that is the rail cannon, can break a lot of stuff depending on which type of block you shoot it towards. Some blocks will consume our power, while some will just let you straight up shred the world, split it in two type stuff. It actually has all kinds of uses. For example, need to quickly mine? Sure. Need to open way through thousands of enemies? No issue. Don't like the villager that stole your stuff and wants to eat revenge, especially after the humiliation of him not changing prices after. The only problem with this item is that it is so powerful that it will completely self-destruct in a few uses, so keep it at a limit. Basically, the whole point of this mod was for you to be able to have some fun with some movement stuff or just destroy everything, that old Minecraft urge to place thousands of TNTs in a village and explode it for no apparent reason, other than this guy. Oh, just as a side note, this is not a great mod for survival, but you can use it to no problem, it's just not very balanced in the vanilla space. 
Well, this was it for today. The mod will be able for download in a few days, probably by next week. So if you don't want to miss that, subscribe. I'll be posting a YouTube short whenever I do that. Thank you so much for watching and as always, I'll see you on the next one.